So you're a crypto miner and crypto profits from mining aren't exactly knocking your socks off. Well, and you've also heard about this GPU rental thing, but you're not really sure where to get started. Well, today I am going to take old mining hardware and actually change it into a salad rig and take you through all the steps that have to happen in order to make that salad rig make you money. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before we get started, I did want to thank Salad for sponsoring this video. I had a plan to make this video before Salad even reached out. So it was very fortuitous timing when they reached out and said, hey, you know, what do you think about salad? And maybe we could do some, maybe we could work together. And I'm like, I got just the idea. I had already done this once on a previous mining motherboard, but didn't record it. Shame on me. I wasn't going to make the same mistake twice. So appreciate salad stepping up to the plate on this. Uh, it did help fund the, uh, the hardware for this. So the hardware of what I needed to change. What I had was a Zotac motherboard with eight gig of Ram and a Celeron processor. The motherboard's fine. It does have an X16 slots with 16 lanes. It's PCIe three, perfectly fine for that, but I did need a better processor. So I upgraded to an I7 7700, upgraded the memory from eight gig to two 16 gig stick. So I had 30, so I have 32 gig of Ram in this. And then I also upgraded, well, I had to buy a drive for this because the other drive I had for my mining was a much, much smaller drive. So I got a one terabyte drive, a little bit overkill, but all said and done, the, the one terabit drive costed about $50 uh, on Amazon. The Celeron, or the, sorry, the i7 processor, uh, i7-7700 was $60, including tax. And while I was there, the guy said, do you need anything else? I'm like, yeah, I need six, uh, two 16 gig sticks of RAM. He's like, hold on. Came back upstairs. I'm like, yeah, this would do. How much? He's like 30 bucks. I'm like, hell yeah. That was a great price, uh, a steal of a price for that RAM. So was very happy. All said and done. Oh, plus there's the actual cage that uh, it sits on. You'll know what I'm talking about. You've seen these before. Um, so all said and done, it's about $150 investment in order to make this happen because we're miners. We already have the GPUs. The GPUs usually is the most expensive part of this, but we already have them. So in order to get to the final product, we just have to make small changes in order to make it work. So let's get into the build. All right, guys. So what we're going to do today is I am going to build a new salad rig. So what I have here is I have an old mining motherboard. This is a Zotac mining motherboard that I bought way back when at the start of the mining craze for about 20 bucks. I knew I should have bought more than one, but I only bought one at the time. So I have that. I have a uh, Celeron or a Pentium processor on this, one of the two. Uh, I'm going to be changing that out for an i7 processor. Um, so that'll be going in there. Also, I have uh, either four or eight gig of memory. That's not going to be enough for what I'm trying to do. So I am going to be putting in uh, DDR4. Uh, 32 gig, two 16 gig uh, sticks, which this only accepts uh, up to 16 gig steps. So the maximum to be able to do is 32 gig in this rig, which will be enough for salad. And then also uh, adding a one terabyte drive. I could have done a 500 uh, gigabyte drive. Uh, that is enough, but for kind of future proofing, um, I wanted to go to a minimum of one terabyte in case I ever want to reuse this for something else. So I'm going to be installing this SSD drive uh, as well. Next time you see this, I will have it completely built. So I know I said it'd be done by the time I came back, but uh, basically one thing I did want to highlight is how to get this type of cooler off. Uh, basically what you want to do is you want to turn each one of these nine, uh, 90 degrees 
and then they should be able to pull up. Now, depending on how um, dry your thermal paste is, you may have to give it a little twist, uh, especially with AMD processors. You're gonna have to give it a little bit of a twist to get it to break loose. This was actually surprising with how old it is that it was still very uh, pliable. So I really didn't have any trouble getting the uh, the cooler off in this particular case. So I've already removed the other one. I'm putting this one in and make sure these hooks go underneath there and then just put that hook under and you're all good. You wanna make sure that in this particular case, uh, there's, there's actually an arrow on here that lines up right there. Um, but generally you're gonna be looking at it where it's right side up when you're looking at it from this end of the motherboard on these CPUs. Many hours later. Okay, so I did a bunch of things. Obviously everything is installed, everything is running. So first off, let's go over some of the parts that I didn't talk about before. Obviously installed the one terabyte drive. I mentioned that, but this is where I installed it. Um, and I went with the Seasonic Focus um, power supply that I had used in my NAS, but I took it out of there when I upgraded that to a 5090 and needed a bigger power supply. This one was out handy, so I went ahead and used this one. Way overkill for this uh, setup. But, uh, but it works. So, um, so when I went ahead and installed windows, first of all, I installed windows 10 because this is older hardware. Windows 10 is proven. So I didn't really want to mess around with windows 11 with this, uh, and see whether or not it was going to be compatible or not. So just went with windows 10. Uh, so I used the media creation to install it onto a USB drive and then went ahead and booted up and installed it without the GPU. I was having some problems with the GPU. I didn't know exactly what was going on. Um, so when I booted up, I did go into BIOS, make sure everything posted and made sure that uh, I turned mining mode off. I don't know if that really needed to do that on this motherboard, but this motherboard has specific mining mode. And I made sure that uh, virtualization was enabled. Um, and went ahead and installed Windows, made sure I did all the updates, and then I was having trouble. So I think the I tried a bunch of different things, but I'm the last thing I did was I changed uh, in the BIOS. I changed from like a hybrid where it allows some legacy uh, hybrid uh, UEFI to pure UEFI, and once I did that, it it accepted the GPU, and I could finally load the graphics driver. So I went ahead and installed the NVIDIA app. Um, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, but in this case I did that, uh, then installed the driver. And now I'm at the point where I'm ready to install salad because everything's set up on the computer as far as OS goes. So let's get into that. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is, um, I also I forgot to mention, I also, when I was going through the install, I installed remote desktop, Chrome remote desktop on this PC so I could remote into it. Makes it a lot easier. I may be looking at some other tools uh, in order to be able to remote into my PCs easier, but for right now, I'm still using Chrome remote desktop. I only have three uh, that I'm using that on. So let's go ahead and, go ahead and load up Salad, and then we want to click on Earn with PC. And then we're going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to go away from the camera for this because I don't want to share my login. Okay, now I'm logged in and up here you can see there is downloads. We're going to click on download and then we're going to click download, which is really good timing because they just came out with a new version at 1.8.4 today. Uh, that's my selected reward. I don't need that. I'm just trying to download uh let's see up oh, there it is go ahead and install that now one of the things i haven't really done is made sure that this thing doesn't go to sleep so i've got to change a few things with those settings change some things in the bios but other than that um i didn't change it on windows yet so i'll be changing those power settings here shortly 
and also changing the update settings. All right, now it is finished. And it should Well, that's interesting. Okay, it's restarting. All right, so salad, this is Nvidia. All right, so I haven't really set up salad yet, so it's installed, but it's not going to automatically start because I hadn't set that up yet. A lot of times I don't set it up. I really should, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in, which will open up the browser. So I'm going to go away again. And now I'm logged in. Now let's go down here. Let's open up. Should automatically log me in. There we go. Now we can get away from that. All right. Set up PC. There we go. Yes, I am aware. And I want to configure. I do not want the video streaming because that's basically bandwidth sharing. That's up to you though. That's just the way I have it set up. I do not need to set a target reward. We're going to go ahead and finish setup. And this needs to get to five out of six, but I'm not done yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on performance. We're going to scroll down here and click configure hardware. We want to make sure that both the CPU and GPU are enabled. That's fine. Uh, maximum storage use, we're going to go to 500. That enables us to get the best job, so definitely enable the 500. I do not allow elevated uh, permissions. Uh, again, I'm not allowing the video streaming. And then we go ahead and click on advanced options, and we're going to turn off mining. Disabled. And I'm going to disable auto stop since this machine is only doing salad. And that's all done. Now let's see. So now I'll click on this. See how it still says four out of six. I have not set up container environment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. At least that's the idea. There we go. All right. Next up. Okay. It says that that's all done. Probably just take a little bit for this thing to recognize that WSL is set up. I'm going to do that. Okay. Says it's done. Let me see if I do chop now. And then one thing I always have up is the task manager. That way I can see if things come up. But right now, I go to more details. And then I always list things by memory. VMEM is, has an open file. Okay, hold on. Welcome to WSL. All right, it looks like it was still getting set up. Yep, there it is. You can see now it says five out of six. So we are good. And let me go ahead and get out of that. And go into here. And right now it's looking for a compatible job. But it is currently running. And I almost forgot. This Sunday, there will be a $100 giveaway sponsored by Salad. It will be a $100 giveaway to the bcpc.com computer store. 
which will help you get started with building your first salad rig. So come to the live stream on Sunday at 8 p.m. Central Time, and we will do the giveaway at that point. Okay, it's been a few days, and I wanted to go over the profitability of this, and then how long will it take to break even at with given different assumptions. So right now, you can see off to the right, this thing started uh, making money basically started on the 27th of July. So we're a few days in, uh, it was making a buck 30, buck 30, almost a buck 34 for the last couple of days. But recently the price that 30 sixties are getting the 12 gig ones has actually gone up quite a bit. Uh, let me take you to the 24 hours. So right now it's making 8.9 cents an hour. And if you know anything about pricing for different GPUs, 8.9 cents for a 3060 is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So right now, since about three o'clock uh, this afternoon, it has been on an 8.9 cent. I hope it stays there for a really long time. No guarantees, but this uh, has been a, a recent change. So, Let's go back to the other one though. Let's say it's only making 5.5 cents and it's, and it's at 80% uh, that you're going to be rented. So if we make that assumption, so in a week, so we do 0 0.055 times 24 times 0.8. And these really don't pull much power. So you're making around a buck a day. It, 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 it's approximate about a buck a day. Well, we spent, $150 doing this. So it's about 150, 150 days. So you're looking at about five months. Not bad for a payback. I mean, what other hardware are you going to use? that's going to pay itself back within five months, not going to get rich on this or anything, but it's a start. I know people that are running multiple of single GPU salad rigs, but they have a lot of them and it is generating a, a a fairly significant and stable uh, income for them uh, by running these these rigs off of their old mining motherboards. So wanted to share with you that. And uh, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention is if you are interested in getting started with this, please uh, consider doing a one-on-one -on -one with me. I'd be happy to help. Uh, I'm very passionate about this and would love to help people get started. Uh, the two I specifically know the most about right now are Vast and Salad. I also know how to get started with Clore. Uh, haven't done anything with Octaspace or Nosana yet. Uh, I have done Flux, so I will let you know if I can help. But there will be a link in the description uh, for signing up for one of those one-on-ones. Uh, also in the description is if you do decide to sign up with Salad, it would be appreciative if you could use the affiliate link in the description as it does help out the channel. And I almost forgot, this Sunday, there'll be a $100 giveaway sponsored by Salad. It will be a $100 giveaway to the bcpc.com computer store, which will help you get started with building your first salad rig. So come to the live stream on Sunday at 8 p.m. Central Time, and we will do the giveaway at that point. All righty, guys, that's all I got for you today. And as always, no tabs were harmed in the making of this video. Have a good one.